anime loves. Today I am doing my full coverage foundation routine for you guys. You guys know I'm a full coverage girl. When I actually do my makeup, I'm doing it full coverage and flawless and all out. Um, so this is the routine that I do do every day. Well, every day that I wear makeup because I don't wear makeup every day. I'm either literally full face or absolutely nothing. There is no in between for me. Um, so this is what I do when I do want a flawless full face. Um, so if you are looking for like a natural, barely there foundation tutorial, this is probably not for you, but if you are looking on how to get a flawless, perfect looking canvas slash face, then this is the tutorial for you. Um, as far as my skin concerns and everything, you guys can probably obviously tell I have absolutely nothing on my skin right now. I don't really suffer from like acne or anything like that. Um, you know, I get occasional breakouts. I have one up here and you know, stuff like that, but my main concern is redness and my under eye circles. Um, that Those are kind of my main skin concerns and what I try and cover up. But this foundation routine will definitely cover up acne if you do have it because it covers up my redness really, really well, so it will cover up your acne as well um, if that's something that you do struggle with. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Um, I have already prepped my skin. I have used my Clean & Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and put these little eye patches on. I am obsessed with these. They are from Patchology. Um, I found them online, so I will put a link in the bottom bar, but you basically just put them underneath your eyes like so. And I like to leave these on for a few minutes and they really just prep my under eye area really, really well, which I love. So I probably gonna look really, really crazy, um, but these have like caffeine and a bunch of other things in them. Um, that really really help to prep that under eye area and kind of plump it up and you use way less concealer When using these so that's amazing and I just like literally love these little guys So I'm just gonna leave these on for about five minutes to plump up my under eye and just kind of brighten it up So I don't look like I got four hours of sleep last night, which is actually the reality um, So I'll be back in about five minutes when I take these bad boys off. Right, so it's been about five minutes So I'm gonna go ahead and take these little guys off. So yeah now that those are all done I'm gonna go ahead and prep prime my skin. First, I'm going to use this Scandinavia the Makeup Primer Spray, and I'm just going to spray this on my face. Love this stuff. It's amazing. Just let that dry on my face for a second, and then I am going to go ahead in and prime with my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in the green color. This is the color correcting adjust one. So normally how I do this, I just kind of focus it in my T-zone and then just kind of blend it out all over my face. I do like this green one just because like you guys can obviously see, I have a lot of redness in my skin. I do think that it helps to kind of counteract it a little bit. Um, obviously it's not doing like, you know, crazy stuff like making my skin not look red at all. The foundation is really what's gonna do that, but I like this in my primer. I do think that it does help. So now that my skin is all nice and primed, we're gonna go ahead and apply a foundation. My favorite foundation, you guys know what it is, is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I have this in NC30. It's a little bit light for me at the moment, but we are going to work with it. We can always bronze up the skin if we need to. This will work with any foundation that you guys have. Choose your favorite foundation and do it. Um, obviously, if you're choosing like a less full coverage foundation. It's not gonna look exactly the same because uh, Studio Fix Fluid is a full coverage foundation for sure. Um, but yeah, this is my baby, but don't think that you have to go out and buy this to get the same look. Any full coverage foundation will do and you'll get a similar end product. Normally I will use about two pumps of this. I did buy the pump for it, so I'm just pumping it onto my finger and then applying it to my face with my finger. I know you're probably not supposed to do this, but it is what it is, you gotta live, right? So just kind of concentrating it on my cheeks and in my T-zone area. Then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender, which you guys know I absolutely love. I love this, especially for the summer. It does sheer out the foundation a little bit, but I just think it really gives a flawless, flawless look to the skin. I did already dampen mine. You want to make sure that you do dampen it before you go ahead and use it so it doesn't soak up all your products. So I'm just going to go ahead and bounce it on my skin so that we can just blend out that foundation. There's really no like rhyme or reason to this. You really just bounce it on your skin. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the Beauty Blender. You've seen other people use it or you have one yourself, but I'm just bouncing it 
on my skin to blend out that foundation. I just think this is the easiest and quickest way to blend out um, foundation. I do like to use flat top kabuki brushes when I want a really super full coverage finish because um, that obviously doesn't sheer out the foundation as much as the beauty blender does. Um, but I just find this to be really easy so on a daily basis I do use the beauty blender. Now for concealer, I'm going in with my holy grail, my MAC Pro Longwear. You guys know that I love this stuff. It is the best concealer for underneath your eyes. It does not crease. It's just amazing. It's full coverage. I love it. I literally hate my dry area and this stuff makes me not hate it so much. Um, so yeah, this is in the color NC20. My foundation, like I said, is NC30. I get NC20 for my concealer because I only use it underneath my eyes and I do like a brightened under eye area. You guys are gonna see I like a very highlighted bright under eye. Um, if you guys want a more natural kind of under eye area that's just similar to your skin, you don't have to get a lighter one. Just get the same color as your foundation or maybe one shade lighter, mine is two shades lighter. Um, but I'm going to use a pump of this underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna put it in between my ring fingers and then I I'm going to apply it in a triangle underneath my eyes again to just further brighten that area. So I just apply it in a triangle underneath my eyes and then kind of feather out whatever is left. Sorry for the hideous faces I make when I do this. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend that out again using the Beauty Blender, but this time I'm going to use this pointed end of the Beauty Blender. This just allows you to get much more precise and kind of in there rather than this big end on the bottom. So I'm just going to go in and blend that all out. Again, sorry for the crazy faces that I make while doing this because I've seen myself do it on camera before and I'm always like, oh my god, please stop with the faces. <laughs> You always want to make sure that you are very light on your under eye area. You don't want to press too hard or anything like that just because this area is so, so sensitive. So you don't want to, you know, give premature wrinkles or anything like that. So just be sure to be really gentle um, in this area. You can do this with your finger. You don't need the Beauty Blender. Um, I just think the Beauty Blender gives a more flawless finish than my finger does. Um, but your finger will suffice if that's all that you have. That's what I used to do when I first started with makeup. I was like applying my foundation with my fingers too. So. Don't you guys worry about that. All right, so now that I have that all blended out, we wanna go ahead and set that. That is a really important rule to remember when doing anything on your face. Anything liquid you put on your face must be set with a powder if you want it to last super long and stay full coverage. This is just gonna help the foundation and the concealer last on your face all day long because especially now that we're going into the summer, that stuff is gonna be sliding all around your face if you do not set it with a powder. So my favorite powder for setting my under eyes actually in this little kit. This is the My Sculpted Face Kit from It Cosmetics. And this little white that you can see I've already hit pan is my favorite powder to go ahead and set my under eyes. Again, this is further going to brighten my under eyes. I like it super bright. If you don't want it super bright, you can just use a translucent powder, really any powder, the powder that is the same color as your foundation, um, you know, whatever you want. But I use a brightening powder. This is my favorite one. I'm really sad that they don't actually sell it in um, like individual because I've used this so much faster than all the other colors, but I don't think they do. So I guess I'm just gonna have to get another kit, but it is what it is. So I am just setting that whole area with this brightening powder underneath my eyes. And I also just bring it up to my eyelid as well. Now we need to go ahead and set the foundation on our face. So the powder that I'm going to be using is this Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. I love this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this. Obviously you guys can tell that I love this stuff because I've hit pan, I need to get another one. But I'm just gonna go ahead and set my foundation. I don't use a lot of this stuff to set my foundation um, just because this is, you know, a full coverage routine and everything, but this is a full coverage powder foundation in and of itself, and then I've already used a full coverage foundation, so I really just use it to keep the um, foundation from moving around on my face. I don't really use it to add more coverage. Um, you can really use any powder. A translucent powder will be fine if you really don't want to add any more coverage, um, but yeah, I just kind of dot that around my face and we are good to go with the foundation being set. Next step we have is contouring. I was gonna do a whole separate video on contouring and highlighting, but I figured I would just include it in this video to make it easier so it's all in one video because whenever I'm doing a full face foundation, I'm always going to contour and highlight. I never kind of do a full face foundation then don't contour and highlight. Um, so again, I'm gonna use the My Sculpted Face palette from Made Cosmetics. This time I'm going to be using these two bronzers right here, a mixture of both of them and um, you just need a little tiny bit of product. So I normally just like tap off the excess and you're gonna suck in like this, like suck your cheeks in and just find this like kind of hollow of your cheeks. The better, the more you do this, the better you'll get at it. I tend to do like from the top of my ear, like that's where you wanna kind of 
start like around this area. Don't ever bring it all the way down here. I only bring it to about here, but if you were gonna bring it, you would want it to go like to the corner of your mouth. So in this area, so. Just like that. Sometimes I will do a little bit on the tops of my forehead. Um, I don't ever really do too much up there, but for purposes of this video, I will. I don't actually contour my nose. I get a lot of questions about how I contour my nose. I naturally have a really small nose, um, so I don't contour it at all. Um, but there are tons of videos on YouTube if you guys are interested in that, because people do contour their nose. Now that we are done contouring, I will go in with a blush. Obviously, this is going to change depending on the eye look that I do, but on a daily basis, I will go for Max Warm Soul. You guys know I love this blush. I just think it is so beautiful. It goes with so many different looks. It's just like a very natural, um, pretty blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my cheeks. You wanna make sure that you get this pretty close to the contour so they seamlessly blend together. You don't want like a gap in between your, your like cheek color and your contour. So just gonna kinda dot it in there. I do bring mine onto the apples of my cheeks. I know some people don't like to do that because um, it can make them appear bigger. To me, it doesn't really bother me. Um, so I do bring it all the way down, but Make sure you don't just put it on your apples and not bring it up because I don't, it's like important that, if, especially if you're contouring, that it all kind of seamlessly blends. So, just kind of dotting that on there. Then we're gonna go ahead and highlight. My favorite highlighter is Max Soft and Gentle, so that's what I'm gonna use. Again, totally hit pan. You guys can tell that all the products that I'm showing you, I literally use on a daily basis. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight um, below my eyes and the tops of my cheekbones. I just love this highlighter. It's such a beautiful color and it just like suits every skin tone. So it's really, really nice and universal. I am gonna bring it down the bridge of my nose and above my cupid's bow as well. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go in with one of these little duo fiber brushes. This one is from Mojo Beauty. You guys know that I absolutely love them. This is their duo fiber blush F1 brush and I love to use this to just blend everything together. So I just kind of take it and go over my contour and my cheek and my highlight and everything and just kind of Go in circles and make sure there are no harsh lines and everything is kind of seamlessly blended. And then the last step is to set it. So I'm gonna be using my Skindinavia, the makeup finishing spray. You guys know that I love this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up and then spray. And let that dry. It dries really, really fast, which is what I love about this. Because I'll typically spray this on my foundation and then I'll do my eyes and then I'll spray it again. So I don't have to like wait like a couple minutes or anything for it to dry. It dries really, really fast and this just keeps your makeup on all day. So it's going to make sure that your foundation is not going to be sliding all around your face because obviously with the hot weather in summer, that's definitely an issue. Especially for girls with oily skin. I have dry skin, so it's not a huge issue for me. But, um, you know, definitely if you have oily skin, I think that these steps will help you um, to keep your makeup more in place as we get into the warmer months and everything like that. So yeah, I hope that this helps you guys. If it did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this where I kind of talk through the tutorial rather than me doing like a voiceover type thing. Let me know what you guys like um, in the comments or wherever. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.